I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, September 2014. Temporary foreign worker proposed regulations. Abusers could face lifetime bans. The federal government is considering lifetime bans and heftier fines for employers found to have violated its new regulations on temporary foreign workers. In a discussion paper posted recently, the government proposes permanent bans in addition to expanding penalties to include one, five, and ten-year moratoriums that would forbid businesses from applying for temporary foreign workers. Currently, there are only two-year bans imposed on companies that have broken the rules. The names of the banned employers would be made public, the proposal state. There are currently four companies listed on the government's so-called temporary foreign worker public blacklist with no new additions since early June 2014, just weeks before Employment Minister Kenny unveiled his new crackdown on the current program. In efforts to deliver on that overhaul, the federal government is also proposing minimum fines of $500 to a maximum of $100,000 for serious violations, in particular those that have resulted in significant financial benefit to an employer. The length of the ban would depend upon the type of violation, the employer's history of compliance, the severity of the violation, and the size of the business, the paper states. The government is asking stakeholders for their input into the proposals with a deadline for submission of October 16. Stakeholders and critics say they're quite puzzled by their proposals, wondering why the government has not been taking such measures for years. Western premiers, including Alberta's newly elected Jim Prentice, have complained that the government's overhaul have been made too onerous. Prentice is a former federal cabinet minister of Jason Kenney. The Western leaders say their provinces are grappling with low unemployment rates and facing genuine shortages of skilled labor that require temporary foreign workers to fill the void. Jenny Sims, the NDP's employment critic, also questions why the government has not been imposing such penalties for years. She also raised concerns about enforcing the new, tougher rules. The government is also proposing to penalize employers even if their failure to comply was unintentional. For example, an accounting error that results in a temporary foreign worker being underpaid. The federal government says that it'll want to start assessing the circumstances surrounding a company's non-compliance when determining the amount of the fine or the length of the ban so that there is still an incentive for the employer to take corrective action. Source, CTV News. 